Hello, hello, everyone. Ice to see you. Ah. I stole that joke from uh, Chris Grimes. A great joke, Chris <laughs> Grimes. <laughs> Thank you so much. I need to see your comment right in front of me. Hello, hello, ice to see you all, says Chris Grimes. It is ice to see all of you. I'm going to do loads of It's pretty pants. cool. Oh, uh, that's a nice uh, straight uh, away. Two. Two. Zing, zing. It's going to be a pun stream. Oh, there's another one because yeah. it's water. <laughs> so, I think straight off the bat, chat, hit us with your best ice puns. Oliver Bath's already in there. Come join us for a chilled stream, what? he says. To be sure. And to be sure. Oh. Oh. oh, we like this. Hello, anyway. Hello, everybody in the chat. Welcome to our chill <laughs> subnautica <laughs> below zero Woo. Um, live stream this Monday afternoon. Uh, with me, Rob, and also Ash. Yes, I'm here. Hello. Ash is at the controls today. I am. Um, we That's swapped me. it around from our last Subnautica stream where I was controlling it and Ash was telling me to stab everything. And today <laughs> it's going to be the other way around. So. Yes. Right. Ash. Shall we begin? Let's begin. Let's go. Are we going? I think so. I'm wait I was waiting for, I don't know, I'm waiting for a pun to set it off, to be honest. Oh, God. Have we got, uh, uh, have we got any puns? Um, any icy puns? That would help us, you know, that would be a thing you would say to start a thing. We've got Mr. Goodcat saying, time to break the ice. There that we go. sort of works. I'll take it. Sort of works. We're going to go survival. We're going to go full shebang, eating, drinking, surviving. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Let's break the ice. Oh, as, let's um, break the ice. As that person whose name I've already forgotten <laughs> Some- said in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about cubes. Because ice cubes. Domino, our lovely mod. Sorry, hello, hello, Oliver Bath and Domino, our mod mods. Uh, Domino correctly points out that all ice puns must be said in an Arnold Schwarzenegger voice because of Batman and Robin. Remember that? Oh yeah, like he's Mister Freeze, isn't yeah. he? What killed the dinosaurs? <laughs> the Ice Age. <laughs> it's not true. It's not scientifically accurate, but it's still a great line. It is good. The research is in everything. I'm, I'm tabla doing it a Schwarzenegger impression as well. And Sam, we need to know what happened. Right, here we go. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. Woo! I'll find my way back. We will explain a bit more about the game. Oh, look at this! But it's a lot of water. It's, 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 it's a step up, isn't it, from the last one? It's beautiful and intense. Like me. I thought you'd laugh at that, Rob. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What did you say? <laughs> 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 I was, I was reading the chat and looking at the <laughs> looking at the meteor heading to Earth. No, it's funnier that it's funnier that that reaction. Okay, <laughs> I'll go back and watch it later and see what you say. Um, so we crash landed on the ice world. Woo! Yeah, but things are really heating up, I think. And you'll see. I play. I played the opening. <laughs> Whoa! Fire! See? It's probably a good job that you have played the opening. Remember when when I started the last game? <laughs> we took quite a while before yeah. I knew what on earth to do. It was hard. We did a lot of stabbing. We did a lot of stabbing. Wow! It's a good job you got out of that fiery cockpit. Oh yeah. Just oh that as God. well. Just that. Great. <laughs> yeah. Right. So basically. So you're not getting off this planet now. Yeah, we're here. We're here to find out some secrets and troubles. I'm gonna get out of here actually. Uh, about the missing sister. Is this a lovely plant? I know everything's blowing up, but look at these really beautiful, lovely plants. Holy smokes! That did not go as planned. Lovely. So nice. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. This one's quite good at just telling you what what like is your goal, even if the um, you know the parameters of yeah. doing it are up to you. But like it's just like right, it's time to get into the water and go to the drop pod. Because the last one was oh look at the water graphics. Oh my god, they oh, look so nice. Splish that, splash. How cold is that going to be though? Very cold. But you got a, like a special space wetsuit on, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no freezer meter, so you'd think that it's the space suit. Chloe Wang, good morning to you too. Ooh, that's a Very nice greeting. I like that. Right, so let's go to this pod. I've had a little breath of air. So we should just say for everyone in the chat, this is Subnautica Below Zero, and it's out right now. Yeah, you can play it right now. PS5 and PS4. Yeah. Am I right in saying that? Yes. Yeah. Down the drop pod. Right, here we go. So, um, it's there's lots of stuff that's very similar to other Subnautica, as in 
it's in the sea yes. and the stuff to do and creatures find it's on the same planet which is and four things to stab yes four five four six <laughs> b um and the fabricator is here and i've got this little oh what's this lots of stuff to look at Ooh. um so we can look at some logs uh so there's loads of these ones i'm sorry about your sister what happened then so let's have a look so we can play it and the voice comes through the dual sense so oh. i'm gonna hold it up if you can hear this there you go just as a little taster um but that's cool i like it when it does that yeah although i gotta say when it does it and it doesn't tell me it's gonna do it and i'm playing video games at like you know midnight yeah. or some unsociable <laughs> hour when my family is asleep and all of a sudden my control is like oh, blah 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 <laughs> shush when I was playing Death Stranding the baby crying kept on coming out of it when I was oh, playing it oh no what, trying to get office, through the BTs I was playing it in the office and I had headphones on so I couldn't hear that it was well, doing then, it and I was I wondering I why is well everyone looking at me weirdly <laughs> and <laughs> the controller was just crying oh, oh no being like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you noise. playing um, right. Yeah, so basically the goal of this is to figure out what's happened to Robin's sister. Um, you're not really given lots to go on, which is good. We like a little bit of mystery. Um, you're given this drop pod as your base. Um, the people like that are in your logs are like, oh, sorry, hope you find your answers. Notice of death because you, it's happened. Sad. Um, yeah, I believe that's... Yeah, about the sister. And then these like messages where it's from Sam, where she's telling us about what's going on with her job and that sort of thing. This is all backstory that I'm not going to go into all, too much. All kind of emails that I would just be, I'd just be deleting. Yeah. If I got the, <laughs> blah, 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 delete. But there's good little survival checklists as well. So you can uh, be like, oh, when you get here, do this. Arctic Survival Almanac. Yeah. So there's different stuff. There's all kind of clues and bits and pieces. So we won't go into that too much because you guys can have an enjoy have some enjoyment of that when you get into below zero but yeah here's the water it's very nice very wavy here's some fish here's my flippers let's have a look at those wow i like it i do appreciate a first person game that it has all of the limbs yeah it's like good now you can look down and see your actual feet i'm gonna come to the service get some air we're gonna need to build some o2 tanks um so right when i did this before i just started swimming and having a nice time so let's swim and have a are nice time. there any big terrifying Lovecraftian monsters in this. I am absolutely sure there will be. We can end the stream by trying to find some. As we did last time, we had a little... We, we searched to the edge of the map. I mean, that we? thing that killed us in the end. Oh, God scary. knows what it was. I have since been doing reading on Snorska. <laughs> <laughs> Not playing it, obviously. <laughs> um, and apparently there's a Megalodon in there as well. Yo! What? How did it end up on this alien planet? I don't know. Who More knows? Appearance. Maybe I'm getting it wrong and then Megalodon's in another game. I know there's a Megalodon in, um, I think it's Battlefield 4, randomly. Yeah. One of the maps, like a big Yo. Megalodon just jumps out. I love Megalodons. and They're so cool. And um, All of, know. like, Steve Alton's books on them. Yeah. I love I'm, it. And I'm determined that one is alive still in the Mariana Trench. You know, we just haven't found it. It and must even be. Though it's, even though it's a scientific impossibility that that's... True. Yeah, but everything is. Until science advances, yeah. everything's a scientific impossibility. You know what I mean? It's just like one of those things I like to believe more out of hope than... Yeah. than um, <laughs> I'd love it. Wouldn't it be cool if it if it was real? Ooh, let's have some limestone. Right, uh, sorry, I've just found this beacon. That's where we're headed at the moment. But no, this. it would be so cool. There's so much stuff like at the bottom of the ocean that nobody knows is there. Why not a megalodon? Why not, Rob? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, because what do they eat? Other megalodons. Other megalodons. Just, they're just there in the dark, yeah. right at the bottom of the earth, just eating each other. <laughs> yeah, that's it. They're <laughs> that's all there. They've been hiding for tens of thousands of years. To mark territory. Show or hide the signals so. of your choice with your Xenoworks PDA. Now with surface support. So this is like our own little personal marker. I'm just going to get some air. So we can drop it where we like. If we go somewhere, I'm like, God, I'd like to make it back there. We can put our marker down. Um, I'm gonna grab some creep. What was that noise? Did you hear that? Yeah, I don't know what that was. Let's grab some creep vines. Old favourite creep vines, eh? Blueprint synthesized. How's the chat doing, Rob? I'm just um, reading it now. Richard Newton says megalodons don't exist. Jason Statham punched <laughs> them into extinction. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He I does. I did enjoy that film. 
Oh, it's amazing. I love the scene, where the best bits from the one from the trailer where the little girl's just got her toy and yeah. it just comes to the yes. window. Yes. Oh. So scary. The best Megalodon film, though, is Shark Attack 3. Is this and the one you were talking about yeah, before where you're like, gotta watch the it. best Honestly, shark film ever? Honestly. It's on the list. If you've not watched Shark Attack 3, you've got to watch it. <laughs> it's amazing. And obviously, when I say amazing, I mean it's terrible. But in the, best in the way. most amazing way. It's the best, you know, that, that that's a genre, isn't it? Bad shark yeah. movies yeah. as a genre. Shark Attack 3 is the best bad shark movie discovered. ever made, in my opinion. I so completely... Good. I can. I, I haven't seen it, but I'm going to back you on that Please. because if you feel that passionately about Please it, then watch it is. It, everyone, has anyone in the chat seen it? New creature discovered. Please, someone. Please. What have you got there? A bladder fish. I remember those. You yes. can drink them. We can look at. I, I hate holding it by the neck. It feels really <laughs> aggressive. I'm like, right, I've got you. Please. Oh, I dropped my fish. No. <laughs> uh, I'm just collecting up some boomerang fish. I'm cracking open some rocks, and basically, I'm just having a nice time whilst we chat. And then we can actually look at what we need to make yeah. when we get to the pod. Yes, Lucy Sobe. Ignore Shark Attacks 1 and 2. Go straight to Shark Attack 3. They're all self-contained stories. It doesn't require any previous knowledge of previous Shark Attack films for you to enjoy. No, Sharknado is not as good. It's not, I mean, it's not as bad. Sharknado. It's not as good in its, in its badness. Sequels, though, are contenders, I would say. Oh, I don't know. Like There's Sharknado 3. Oxygen. There are scenes in... Um, in Shark Attack 3 that just oh they're so wonderfully hilarious what about Ghost Shark I've not seen Ghost Shark that's about a shark that's a ghost is the premise <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm pretty sure it's got a scene where the ghost can the ghost shark can basically appear in any body of water so it appears in someone's stomach <laughs> and it's oh, like wow I'm oh a ghost shark God. there's one there's one called house shark which is a shark that lives in a house as well and um, it like comes out the toilet like the, all of the marketing was about this shark fin in the toilet and it's just so silly so silly so very silly I mean it sounds amazing actually 47 meters now and ca uncaged as well that's actually quite a good it's, shark movie for bad shark movies yeah I, I, movies like that are just i feel like they're, they're too good almost like yeah. they could actually be real movies For, is that the one with um is that the one where they're in the like the ruins and the sharks are blind yeah yeah is that's that that actually one? really good isn't it it's like scary it's really yeah a few jump scares in that the uh, I, I i like 47 meters down the first one as well i just is think that the one with blake lively in it uh, no, it's Shallows. That's the Shallows, yeah. So many shark films. I know. <laughs> um, just to say what I'm doing here, this is the... this is the. If you're familiar with Subnautica, you're going to be really familiar with Subnautica Below Zero because it's got a lot of the same mechanics and same um, creatures and stuff because we're on the same planet. Um, so, yeah, this is the Fabricator. You pick up your resources, you, you build them up, and you cook stuff and make stuff, drink some water, and we're gonna have a little look at what we've got to make some fabricated items, like these. And you can pin them here, so you can have them on your screen as you're right. floating around. And uh, pick them up specifically. So in f first, I'm gonna have a little drink, because I think I'm quite thirsty. And eat this food. Mm. Delicious. Very important. I lo oh, they, did they have to do the, the slurpy sound effect then? Yes, they did. Right, we've got tons of creep finds. Right, fabricator. Let's oh, go. My pet hates. I mouse noises. Mouth noise. Are yeah. the, I, I, you know, have you heard of misophonia where it's like people who get really annoyed at mouth sounds? I relate to it a lot. I think I have it. Yeah. I've never yeah. heard that term. By it's misophonia. Me and my dad have gotten lots of arguments about eating. Well, I'm trying to. I'm. I'm thinking about food. I'm going and just scrolling up and down. Right here we go. Yes, it does. It makes me. It makes me irrationally angry. It does. You just feel it spike, don't yeah. you? It's like the Kratos rage. Shut meter. up! With your eating and your drinking in front of me. <laughs> uh, right. So let's have a look at the menu and see what we want. So we want a knife for stabbing. That's set. I we've, mean, that's. I've got the ingredients. Need, yeah, we have to have the knife, don't we? We want a scanner and we want a flashlight because those are the things that are good and useful. You'd absolutely just romp in through this. Like when I, <laughs> it took me how long to <laughs> discover that you could have a torch? A torch, not a flashlight, Look, a torch. You walked so I could swim. That's, that's oh, what it that is. Oh, that was good. That was good. We'll make some fins. I wear those fins and then we'll make some more silicon for the, for the knife. 
I kind of just want to get us in so we can start looking at looking at story beats and going deeper into the ocean stuff. So let's get our basic needs met. Let's do it. Right, and then we can what's the factory. what's the goal of this dream? I think the goal should be we've got to find a big nasty monster. Okay, well, we can find a big nasty monster. If we haven't by the end, then we should just do what we did at the end of the last one: is just swim. Yeah, swim out as far as you can go, and see what happens. I back that completely. Right. Look, like. Alexander Peterson. I know. I know the word flashlight probably makes more sense. But it's torch. It's so, torch. All it's right. Torch. I have a scanner. Oh, we have a scanner. Yeah! Right. Oh, oh, goodness me, that made me jump then. Like. Oh, she's speaking <laughs> through the controller! Where is she coming from? There All we go. Right. I have a scanner. There we go. Right. So, what have we got? We've got hoop fish, a creature egg, oars, some silicon rubber, knife, beacon, scanner. Oh, we have to charge it. A jelly-filled empanada says, uh, Rob did the doggy paddle so Ash could freestyle. Thank you. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what we wanted. That's perfect. Right, I'm going to put the rest of our... Katatui93 says, punch a shark. Yes. Just do that. Just go and punch a shark. I don't think we can punch, but we can stab, and that's better, so it might say. <laughs> stab a shark. Yeah. So we've got a scanner, we've got a survival night. We'll put flashlight and or torch on the um, agenda, and we'll also put a standard O2 tank on the side so that we can... You know, breathe. Yeah. But we, and we need glass for the uh, torch. So I'll put that on the screen so we know we need to get some quartz for that. And it's night! Oh, yeah, I remember it doing this. <laughs> All of a sudden it's like, it is night time now. It's very pretty, though. All the bioluminescent stuff. Look at this penguin. But it's not a penguin. Alien, it's an alien. penguin. Come back. Hello. I just want to talk. Oh, I should scan it. How's my scanner? Look at those graphics. Look at that planet in the air, just like shimmering through the water. Oh, look at it. It's on the ice. I like that. Let's go and see him. Yeah. Oh, look at them all. They're all there. You can pick them up. It's a penguin. Oh, hello. Penguin is a big one. Penguin. Nice. And I'll pick up your babies. <laughs> oh, where'd it go? <laughs> You've I just it. stole it. It's you just you have killed it. Here it is. Look at this baby, and they all start hitting you. Ah! Oh no! Guys, please throw it in the water. I'm gonna leave it for them. I don't want to take their children. Bye. Bye, just... penguins. <laughs> as I much mean... as I love stabbing fish, the penguins. New creature it's a line. Arctic peeper. Ooh, a coral, coral bridge. bridge. That's the thing that made me jump out of my skin if I remember in the last Subnautica stream when we were swimming on the surface and we yeah. looked down and it was just there I know I think and I blame you for that because you were telling me those stories about <laughs> seeing things in the water and it making you scared and it all of a sudden it was like that awokened awoken 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 what's the word I'm looking for awoke awoke yeah it awoke <laughs> like a, a dormant fear within me almost like an instinctive fear of just things underneath me in the water Scary. The sea is scary. It is. Right, let's do some more. I'm just, I'm just enjoying some scanning here. This is just a very chilled, looking at fish, having a nice time in in this icy wonderland business kind of stream. Oxygen. Ah. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> I can't. Mr. Anderson <laughs> says, uh, "Punch Pingu." No. Oh. We only have knives, and we're not going to stab the penguin. <laughs> we only have knives. <laughs> We will stab Pingu. And that's it. Cannot punch him. I like this guy. I tried, like, when I had my little, you know, just little go oh, on it no. beforehand, I Wait. tried stabbing this, but it doesn't like being stabbed. So. Peter Penguin says, I don't like this stream now. It's my brothers you're being mean to. Oh, Which, no. Uh, Peter Penguin, I'm I so that, sorry. I read that comment and I thought that you were Professor Penguin, like our regular penguin. <laughs> uh, but a you're a different penguin. one. You're Peter <laughs> Penguin. Different penguin. I wonder if uh, Professor Penguin is here. Professor Penguin, if you're there, mm. I'm so sorry. Oh, there's these. But not really. Look at these. Beautiful oxygen flower. So you can go deep. Oh, wow. And then you replace your oxygen. Oh, That's good. I'm going to do some swimming around before That's I use That's classic, that. though, isn't it? Like uh, little bubbles of air underwater and underwater levels in games. Yeah. 
I hope that that's like a real thing. Like if I dived into the sea, I could get rid of it. <laughs> oh. There's oxygen. One. No, I will not swim to the surface. Kevin Mabley says hello from New Zealand. Hello Warning. to you Passing in New Zealand, meters. Kevin. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ooh. It must be quite late there, surely. It must be the early hours of the morning in New Zealand. Rob, we find a signal. <gasps> and a fi oh, big fish. And a, oh my god. A shark thing. Oh my god, I'm not oh, swimming yeah. fast oh, no. enough. Put this away. Go. Oh, no. Go. Ash. Trans Go. Oh, no. Go. Swim, Ash. Swim. Oh no. Swim. Don't die. Swim. <laughs> Swim. <gasps> I can always Ooh. feel it. I can feel it. Gosh, that was stressful. Let's save it. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. Whew, right, we're going to put a beacon here, I think, so we remember that there's the, the distress calls here and we've got to go deeper. So well, there it is. That's a good idea. Yeah. And then we know it's here. We didn't have beacons when we when we played the, the first Subnautica. So we have got to make... What's that plastic tube that looks like bubble wrap? We need to make some of that and find some titanium. Fiber mesh. How do you make fiber mesh? Creep vine? Creep I can't vine. remember, yes. Um, Alexander Peterson says, can anyone explain some of the gameplay differences? Um, this one is <laughs> cold. It's colder. Alexander. <laughs> So you've got like uh, the, the pinning the recipes and it looking very beautiful. There's lots of similarities. Um, yeah, that's my main. <laughs> that's my main takeaway. I think um, you can go on land and run around on the ice up there, you can and that's stab kind of, penguins. Yeah, you can stab penguins this time instead of just fish. Let's go back upstairs. Oxygen upstairs. Ah, breathe. Where's the pod? The pod's that way. I know there's creep vines near the pod. This Arnav. is the upstairs. Abby Nav, sorry Ash, says, uh, I hold my breath for all underwater levels and I relate to that very much. <gasps> like I often unconsciously do that. I, I consciously do it when I'm trying to test if it's real. <laughs> yes! I literally did it the other night. I was playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla yep. and just found like a secret bit underneath a waterfall with a treasure chest in it and I had to swim through an underwater <laughs> tunnel to get there and I was like right Let's I'm going to actually see if I could do this in real life and I could wow I Rob very, I'm impressed I was very pleased but it wasn't that big a tunnel <laughs> it's maybe like maybe 30 seconds max hey that's you know that's still underwater adventuring at its mm. finest I reckon I could hold my breath for a minute if I absolutely had to go on then <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, I don't have to, Ash, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to. What I'm saying is Just if I was in it. a life or death situation, <laughs> and it was like, you have to hold your breath. Let's get some creep vine. Give me some creep vine! Did you know that Blueprints Tom Cruise designed. trained himself to hold his breath for like 10 minutes? 10 minutes isn't to possible. Do, to do Mission Impossible. Well, no. it's Mission Impossible, it? and he solved no! it. He did the mission. I hate that that's the instant comeback, because it always is Mission Impossible, yeah. and I should have known. But there are people that have done it. Like, those amazing... I've seen free divers on these... You know, on these documentaries. Oh, these, yeah. I've seen these documentaries you get where they like tell <laughs> stories of like people and stuff. Oh, anyway, yeah. there was a free diver on one, and it was like twenty minutes he was going for. Twenty like, minutes. Yeah, like deep, deep down. That's a lie. He's lying. But he was doing it. It's a lie. I don't know. How. Yes, I, I don't believe these documentaries. These wild and crazy stories of disbelief. I don't know if that's true. Let's make some fiber mesh whilst I get angry about people being able to hold their breath for ages. Coffin cat. 666 rightly points out that swimming while holding your breath is a whole different ball game. Yeah. I expect Wait, it is. Wait, what? Don't you have to swim? I imagine like, you know, just holding your breath, if just holding your breath, and then holding your breath while also swimming is probably more difficult. Yeah, oh yeah, like swimming on the surface and then, yeah, 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 I understand now, I understand. Right, so we for our oxygen tank, we need a piece of titanium, and for our torch, we need some ribbon stuff and some copper ore so there's copper our ore. there's our goals and we're gonna get some oxygen tanks so we can go down yeah. that deep big hole how do we find some copper ore? i want to go these. down the deep hole you smash these open and, and fun stuff's in them <laughs> fun stuff yes limestone oh we need that i can't see titanium without instantly hearing the song in my I head am titanium. that's the one that's the one beautiful the sound, rendition the sound of my youth at university. 
clubbing away to Titanium. When did it come out? I don't know. Maybe um, maybe I, I've got a case of um, Mandela syndrome, and I'm remembering it wrong, and it was a different song. I can't. I can't I'm, tr I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what. What are we, I don't know. I don't know. I Either remember that, Titanium being a big thing, though. Either that, or I have uh, revealed that you know, I've been clubbing way into my thirties, <laughs> <laughs> which is not true. Party hard, Rob. Party hard. <gasps> Copper ore. Good. Right, we need... Matthias Christiansen, ribbon. sorry Ash again, but he's, he says, I am a free diver. I usually go down 20 metres. Held my breath for three minutes once. Three minutes, see? I mean, that that's is believable and cool. 20 metres. I mean, um, once when I was on holiday, I was doing like snorkelling and then we had like a snorkelling Oxygen. guide and there were turtles around mm. where we were and this turtle must have gone down maybe two or three metres yeah. and the guide like went down with oh. it just to be like hey t t I was like that looks cool I'll try that <laughs> and I started going down literally I must have been about one and a half two metres yeah. down and I was like oh my god this is deep. I cannot take this <laughs> like the pressure on my head yeah. just at that shallow depth I was like oh my god how 20 metres is no joke like the training and the the, the like the physical prowess you must have um, is amazing right Battery made. Let's take it off our list. Let's take it off our list, I said. Let's take it off our list. There we go. Right, battery off. And then we're going to make both of these, so I'm going to take them okay. off our list as well. So that's gone. And that's gone. So we're going to make a torch and some O2 tank. Yes. O2 Standard tank. O2 tank. Crap! Yeah, I can't I <laughs> like that, that, uh, titanium, yeah. like a different... The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Oh, I like VIP breathing. Titanium was released in 2011, so it wasn't true. I didn't listen to it at university. I'm sorry, I must I'm really sorry. So, oh, my life is a lie. <laughs> what was it I did listen Ooh. to? Probably Darude Sandstorm. Oh, that's everyone's uni experience. Yeah. Even now, Darude Sandstorm. Let's put some more stuff away. Let's pull our... Oh, there's some fish here. Let's cook and eat them. Linford Siljur says, uh, I hope they will encounter a Leviathan-class sea creature. That's what we found at the end. I think it was like a ghost Leviathan, maybe? Something scary. At the yeah. end of the last stream. Right, so we've got a cooked hoop and an Arctic peeper. I love the name peeper. So cute. Eric Bithanos says, Ash, do you have any more scary underwater stories to tell? Oh, that's my go to scary underwater story. I don't think I have any that I can't just, you know, unless I pretend that I've been in a horror movie and I'm just like, whoa, remember when this happened to me and I saw Cthulhu? Um, that, might, that one's my go to. I've had lots of pleasant experiences in the sea. Did I did scuba diving and had a great time looking at the oceans. Oh, that was pleasures. That was on the Great amazing. Barrier Reef. It was oh, so beautiful. That sounds like, that's like that's bucket list stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Scuba diving on the Great Barrier Reef. It was madness. Whitsunday Island. Did you did you see any like, did you see any sharks or anything like that? Only little ones. I don't think we saw any mad big ones. Um, like as in you know when it's like a breed of shark that's not a real. Like Not bitey shark. <laughs> Is this one of the bad ones? Uh, <laughs> no. No, I think it was just a little friend. Um, oh, I'd love to do that. That would be amazing. Right. Where are we headed to? I'm just swimming. Yes, this is the right because that's where the I put the emergency supply cache. The beacon. Or oh, is this a new one? This is a new one, maybe. No, this is mine. I'm gonna pick you up because we're gonna go downstairs now. Now we've got some O2. We're gonna see how far we can get. Doug Gregg says, surely Rob was clubbing to the hits of the 1990s at uni. And I was. During the <laughs> retro <laughs> nights, <laughs> Doug. Ha. Oh, you owned him there, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got him. Yeah. Warning. Fine. Passing 100 metres. So I was at uni, not, not that far away from the 90s. Let's have a little suck on this bubble. Lemon sharks, says Coffin Cat 666. Just says lemon shark. Lemon shark. They're just nice. They're a very scary looking shark, lemon shark. Did you hear that? I did. Did you hear that? That sounded like something large. That sounded... Okay, right. Oh, I'm afraid. Hey, Ash, are you aware of... Um, I think it's called the bloop. 
What's Have you the heard bloop? of the bloop? Oh, the mystical bloop from yes. inside the ocean, where yes. it's like, what's this bloop? Nobody the weird, knows. The weird noise that no one, no one knows what it is. Warning. And passing 200 meters. I don't know how they know, but they were like, oh, the, the size of the creature that made this noise is. I hear it again. The bloop. Oh, it's just bigger than any go, creature go. that exists ever. They... So no one knows what it was. It's like it's like the underwater version of the wow signal Warning. from space. Thirty seconds heard of, of oxygen the wow signal remaining. before. No. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm stressed. I'm just trying to find a thing. Tell me about the wow signal. The wow signal is um again I can't remember the specific details of it, but it's like a, a some a radio signal detected in space mm. um, that apparently was of unknown origin and suggested Warning. it was. Thirty seconds of oxygen I think the person who, who found it and saw it. Yeah. It's like this this can't be just random. This this, this yeah. stinks of intelligent origin. Uh. And he just wrote he, on the paper where the signal was like printed out, he just wrote yeah. wow in the margin, which is why it's called why it's called the wow signal. Wow. Not <laughs> like the Owen Wilson signal. Warning. Thirty <laughs> seconds of oxygen remaining. Wow. Oh, for God's sake, Jellyfield Empanyard has just ruined my day. The wow signal was from a microwave. Apparently. Oh, no. Is that no. true? Is that true? Yeah, microwave in space, though. Did they find that out? A microwave in space? Nobody is going to be like... Was it honestly a microwave? Oxygen. I th maybe they mean like, you know, like as in the type of wave rather than a machine. Maybe. Maybe. I Rob? think they're saying, maybe. Rob? they're saying it. Come on, chat. Rob, Put please. me out of my misery. <laughs> Was the wow signal literally a microwave? Bro, please. Microwave. <sighs> right, we've picked up this PDA. We need to look at what's on it. Because I've had a very stressful time not dying in that thing whilst hearing a very scary noise. Don't believe it. Anyway, we've still got the bloop. The wow signal maybe is a microwave. Don't know what the bloop is, so it could be anything. Could be, approaching. could be a megalodon. Sea, sea truck. Sea truck. <laughs> Right, Rob, you read that out in a, in a dramatic voice instead of playing the thing. Go okay. on. Okay. What? Hang on, what? Cheese on a cracker? Uh -huh. this, this is your moment. Cheese on a cracker? It saw me. I managed to eject the cargo modules and hide. I'm sitting here with the lights off, sweating through my shirt. I'm not going to get pooped out of the black back end of a sea monster to save Altera some money. Emmanuel is not going to be happy. Not one bit. I don't know why I did that in American accent. I enjoyed all of that. Oof, we were getting quite cold That's up like there. my go-to <laughs> my go-to Geralt <laughs> slash Solid Snake slash it was really good. dramatic voice. Gruff man voice. Video game protagonist man. That's Hello. me. I like taking things seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is bad. Ugh. I said there's no like proper... Girl. Gruff woman voice. This is Solid Snake. Hello. I <laughs> should create one. I sound and like Marge uh... with a coal. <laughs> Hold me. <laughs> my mum, the only impression my mum can do is of Marge Simpson. Yeah. And the only word she can say is homie. 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 <laughs> <She's laughs> that's all she does. Oh, makes me laugh every Ooh, time. We can make a computer chip, Rob. I think we should. Right, yeah. What's next on our agenda? Where would you like to go next? Should we have some more. Oh, I, I would so. like to go down that 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 uh, trench more, to be honest. But I'm yes. scared of it. Let's do it. Alexander Peterson says I should have done my wise old man voice, which is basically just my Gandalf impression. I've been watching lots. I of, was um, waiting for it. Then I thought it was going to happen. I've been watching lots of David Attenborough documentaries recently. Yeah. Because my daughter really likes cheetahs, so I just put the episode <laughs> with the cheetahs on over yeah. and over. I was like, oh, it'd be great if I could do a David Attenborough impression, but he's, I d I'm not very good at it, and it's quite hard to do. Also, it feels like disrespectful. Yeah. Someone, you, can't, you can't be doing impressions of David Attenborough. I remember someone did David, David Attenborough on the Snatch Game on Drag, Case, Drag Race UK. Yes, I watched that. and I, it, Yeah, and I was like, David Attenborough is untouchable, yeah. I'm afraid. Yeah. Untouchable. I remember that episode. I can't remember who did it, who did the David Attenborough impression, but I remember thinking, like, oh... They've been doing really well up until now. Yeah. And the David Amber impression's bad. Yeah. Um, they were going to do Nigella Lawson. Were they? Yeah, that would have oh, been so good. I can't remember who it was. All I remember of that episode was um, the Vivian doing Donald Trump. And it just being <laughs> yeah. amazing. Oh, she like... Absolutely amazing. Steamrolled everyone. But then she also had like... She did like a little bit of Cilla Black as well. And I was yeah. like, you could have done Cilla Black and it would have been just as good. Yeah. Oh. What can't you do? What can't you do? A worthy winner. 
my opinion. Oh, sorry if we've, you're not catching up. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> was catching I up. I finished it. it. I finished it. <laughs> oh, we Spoilers. just, we just <laughs> found a, we, uh, I'm really high excited. High capacity O2 tank. <laughs> yes. Rob, Rob. We're not going to die anymore. <laughs> no, right. We, we found blueprint for it, so we've got to make it. I need to suck on the oxygen bubble. Oh my God, please. I'm, oxygen. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay. It's really stressful being deep, and that noise keeps happening, and I, I don't feel... I what that noise is. It's something that's just watching you from yeah. far away. I've got the bloop fear. Right, let's go and see. Let's get our VIP breathing on, baby. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. So glass, titanium, and silver ore. Let's have a look. So <laughs> Everyone's calling us out for the drag race. Spoilers now. <laughs> sorry! Ah, sorry! That was season one. That was ages sorry. ago. God. I've not watched season two yet of the UK one. Oh, it's so I've, good. I've only watched the UK one. I've never watched the US one. I've never watched the US one either. And it made me want to watch all of, all of them because it was so... Season. I watched season two first. Me and my mum watched it and just like had oh, the right. best time. And then went back to season one. And season two, I think, is like next level. Is if it? you liked season one, season two yeah. is next level. I definitely have to give it a go, I think. It's really good. I liked all the guest judges I found them really funny as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, Andrew Garfield was in it. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> was really, such a creep really as well. I enjoyed Andrew Garfield on it. In a funny way. Like, he was... He was. A f I remember him just being a creep in a good... Like, not in an actual creepy way, just... It just a couple of his comments just made me laugh. Ooh. Ah, I've got this fish just in my hand. Let's put that away. It's really dark. I tell you what we could use. A flashlight. You slash got it. Torch. I can hear a buzzing in my ears. I don't know if anyone else can hear that. Yes, please tell us if you can hear that. I've got a little audio buzz as well. I think it's going. It's going. Oh, there goes the buzz. It's gone. Wow. There you go. This, there's the excitement of the stream. Oh, let's have some of these. Nice. And some limestone. Break it up. Break it up. Smash. What was in it? I'm gonna turn my torch back on. I have my knife. I'm getting oh, I'm getting like flustered. I'm getting a bit flustered. Oh, oh. Thinking about what we've got to do because we've got to find quartz, which is here. We've got to find titanium. We've got to find a nice de like stone depository area. What was that? What, was that? Noise? what is making that noise? That sounded like a person screaming. <sighs> the sea is so scary. <laughs> that looks scary as well. That looks unpleasant. Oxygen. The sky. Is that the northern lights? Yeah, beautiful, but scary because it's alien. It is cool though, isn't it? The alien northern lights. The alien aurora. I'll put my knife away so we could admire it. Wow. Look at those. Look at that. That's great, moon on a moon. I'd love to see the northern lights for real. Yeah. I saw them very, very faintly once. Not In enough that I could tell, that I could say I've seen them. In a like country where you can see them all here? No, it was in uh, it was in Sweden. Oh, cool. Ooh, what's this? I'm stabbing it, but, but it doesn't care. Replenish oh, oxygen. Come here. Thank you. Have a little suck on the fish. Stab this bladder fish. Acoustic Keegs says playing this game alone with headphones on is terrifying. I can imagine it is. Yeah. I'm terrified, and there's two of us. I'm treating it very practically, but like this is my worst case scenario. <laughs> Sorry, pedantic gaming is just set. <laughs> Aurora Borealis at this time of year. <laughs> 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 Localized entirely within your streaming area. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Can I see it? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that that's happened. <laughs> Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> it was such a good little stream of memes. The whole. Have you seen the video where it's like steamed hams, but it's a different animator every like, five no. seconds? Oh, it's incredible. I thought you were going to say the one where every time he says steamed um, hams, it gets faster. No, it's. I've seen that as well. <laughs> um, but it, I think they got a bunch of animators who'd worked on The Simpsons. Yeah. And every every I can't remember how many seconds it is, but it's like every five seconds, or every ten seconds, it swaps to a different animator. Yeah. And it's incredible to watch. Definitely have a little Man. check out of that if you haven't. Let's have a watch. Let's get steamed, some memes going. Steamed hams, but every time it's a different animator. Watch that on YouTube. It's great. 
Right. We're still looking for, just to update people, we're still looking for limestone. <laughs> It's so good. I love the whole Skinner, the Skinner <laughs> superintendent Charles, everything about it. Oh, it's amazing. I, I just like how to bring it back to the stream and you're like, nope, no, it's nope. this time. We're still on steamed hands, I'm afraid. <laughs> right there we shall remain. Right. <laughs> the Simpsons really good though, isn't it? It is. The golden era of Simpsons. It was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for limestone things. I forgot what the word is. Stones? Crops? Limestone? Outcrop. There we go. So we've got loads of titanium. We need some glass, which we can make with our quartz. I don't know what that other thing is. Silver ore, that's what we're trying to find next. And then we've also got the normal tank already, which is on our list. So let's go, list. Let's go and make the quartz and see what see if we've got anything in storage that might look like silver ball. Let's do it. Lucy Sobey says Rob always gives good YouTube suggestions um, after the Big Scary Owl video. Have you seen the Big Scary Owl video, Ash? Are you talking the about Owl Man. Lord of Tears? I might be that. I think you're talking about Lord of Tears. Owl Man. Who go who I'm goes stopping streaming because he goes to the, the, the Scottish um, yeah, God, you can tell it because I'm too excited. Yeah. <laughs> Goes to an abandoned place, basically. Oh, um, oh my favourite! I absolutely love those videos so much. Yeah. My, I, I, we, wa I watched Lord of Tears the other day. The actual film that was that was all promo for a film. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, I had no idea. Um, I watched Lord of Tears the other day because I was thinking about that video. I was just like, God, that was really funny. <laughs> um, I still, I, I quote that man. There's a man in it who gets really scared and goes, "Go away!" I love we! him. I love him. It's the way he's like <laughs> rocking back and forth, and it's like he's, <laughs> it's almost like. He's saying, not again. Yeah, in some yeah. ways, like, like this has happened to him before. It's oh, like, please. I love the whole go vibe. Go away. Of him just being like, <laughs> he just gives up. He's like, actually, yeah, that, he's got me. That's enough. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's enough. It's amazing, isn't it's it? So, it's so funny and so good. And the film is not. Oh, no, is it it's not? not. Oh, no, no, unfortunately. But Good the, marketing campaign, though. The bits where the monster's in it, The Lord of Tears, um... The owl man, the bits where he's there are really good and really strong. It's just there's this strange bit in the middle with a like a woman dancing for about like twenty minutes oh, that just I see. that didn't didn't quite carry the rest of the film. Right. But the intention was good and, you know, it was nice to see Stage Fright's Owl Man brought back with a new lick of paint. Oh, I do love the Owl Man videos. If you, you I've often thought, like if you were in that situation, like a photographer going to like a you know abandoned care home or whatever they are. Yeah. Bit of urbex. If you saw that, yeah, the oh. owl man coming, like, would surely you would know? Hey, this is just a, this is just a person no in a way. suit. I'd be like, my, Morning. I'd. Well, I'm trying to, trying to say, <laughs> trying to say inappropriately, but I would be afraid. I would be truly afraid. Would, yeah, yeah. Like, I would be out of there. I'd be I screaming and crying. I'd, I'd believe be, in ghosts. I'd be afraid if I was the person in the owl man suit. Like, they get attacked. I, what if I scare a person who's like? got a knife or something and tries to defend Who themselves. Who would take on a demon owl from beyond the realms of existence? I don't know. If it's like you go into fight or flight mode, what if someone chooses fight? I would fight them back, actually. I'd be the owl man <laughs> with my giant claws. <laughs> like, oh, you want some owl, do you? <laughs> hoot, hoot. Let's go. Right, we've just found our silver ore, excitingly. To get back on track again. <laughs> Oh, Subnautica and film streams, that's what this is. Yes. It's not a platter Monday, dude in GA. This is... Just chill. This is just a chill. <laughs> a chill. We've, we've dropped the ice packs, yeah. haven't we? We dropped those early. Um, this is Subnautica Below Zero, uh, new game, recently out on PS5 and PS4. Uh, survival, underwater, ice, scary things. There's a, a quick summation there. Seek fluid intake. Oh, I'm thirsty. Yeah, I should sort that out. Um, well, I've got a standard O2 tank equipped, but I think it wants me to make another one for this. Do I not have one? Or is it because I've got it on? Can I take it off? Where is my I tank? I don't know. Where's my tank? I think I'll have to make another one. That's okay. All we need is um, some fibre mesh. So where's fibre mesh? Oh, we can make that because it's just creep vines. I've got creep vines right here. Right here, baby. I think it's rotten though. Might not I don't know if it's still work if it's rotten. Uh, 
Spider mesh. Spider mesh. Good. There it is. <laughs> a common cat is coming. A wing slap by an owl man would rip a person in half. I love it when people come in with You wouldn't be over by an owl man, obviously, because. <laughs> <laughs> this is what would happen. <laughs> oh, those are the facts. Just a wing swipe. A wing swipe from an owl man. Yeah. But if you are a person in an owl man suit, that's that's not going to be true, is it? I'm just thinking. You're not, you know, if you're in an... From the Lord of Tears film, I'm sure the owl man could rip a person in half. But what I'm saying is, if you're the person doing the promotional stunt, dressed up in a in a furry costume... Ah, it was feathery. <laughs> God. <laughs> Got to get it accurate. <laughs> Well, you saved me. You saved me from the comments that are probably writing that now. Feather, it's not fair! Oh my god! I think he's quite sweet when you look at him normally because he's just a cute little owl. But then you start thinking, um, cute little owl. Yeah. <laughs> but then you see his big claws, and yeah, you know he's, he's a demon. Big... Like he is actually like a proper big demon man. Tom Buchanan says uh, Jason Statham could take Owl Man. Yeah, probably. I probably mean, he can take a megalodon. So Owl Man's no no probably business. Probably an Owl Man, yes. Um, oh my god, so another fact about Alman oh, that I had. I forgot what it was. Uh, oh, he has a lovely voice. That was it. He has a lovely voice. It's very deep. It's like the gruff protagonist voice. He's like, hello. Really? I'm the owl man. Do you speak in the film? I'm gonna eat your soul. Yeah, but like, but it's <laughs> cooler than that. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. That's what it's... The vibe. That's the vibe. There's a bladder fish, right? I'm gonna eat you. Consume. I don't know who the king of Subnautica is, and I don't know why people keep asking me. Are you is, the king of Subnautica? Is that a joke? Is that an in-joke I'm missing? Are you, is it, are you the king of Subnautica? Is that... No. No? You sound defensive. Are you the king of Subnautica? Or? Well, I don't know who the king of Subnautica is, and I wish people would stop asking me. The I king don't of know. Subnautica? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the king of Subnautica? Is it you, Rob? I don't know who the king of Subnautica is. <laughs> immediately. Right, we're getting, getting the buzzing in my ears again, and I don't know why. It's because the uh, Alman's on the line. Maybe. He's heard, the, he's heard us talking. As long as you're not hearing it in the stream, then it doesn't matter. Again, it's, it's Alman coming in. He's going to come in through the door, bust in, claws out, beak gnashing. Lord of Tears is here. Nothing to fears from the Lord of Tears. But actually a lot to fears because he's an evil demon. Let's make some water. Sup, sup. And let's have a drink. <laughs> there's, there's some serious uh, discourse going Fighting on now about what would happen if a person and an owl man had a fight. <laughs> We've got <laughs> it's the shock and the fall that would break the arm, not the bird. Ooh, wait, <laughs> wait, hang on a second. The shock and the, the shock and the fall would break the arm of the yeah, bird. Yeah, I'm not sh no, or of, not the, the bird. person. Yeah, I'm not sure how shock can contribute in any way to your arm breaking <laughs> when I'm very scared my arm often <laughs> takes <gasps> oh over oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> I mean if the shock causes you to <laughs> the thing is birds have hollow bones so if you tackled if you rugby tackled mm. owl man yeah then maybe you'd would stand bones, a chance would the bones bend or break though well if they're hollow you'd think they're bendy. just snap. bendy bendy it's not made of rubber I don't know it's not a rubber bird who knows Right, we're trying I don't to, know. I'm trying to find the crevasse again now that we can go down. Have some oxygen flowers. Have a nice time. Maria Gurley Marquez. Sorry if I've mispronounced your name. Welcome to the stream. Glad you can join us. Um, oh no, I've used this one. That's frustrating. I thought it might respawn. What's this? Sorry, I said that really loud. That looks like a... a like a great white shark cage diving yeah. cage, doesn't it? Let's go maybe if you get in there, maybe there's something around here. <gasps> maybe the megalodon will come. That would be great. Get in there and look for the megalodon. Let's just see if there's any goodies. Oh, goodie, thank you. A flare. Get out of here, flare. <laughs> Jellyfield Empanada says, Rob, you could punch a bird's bones to pieces if you wanted. <laughs> 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 I hope he means just you specifically. I'm really, I'm really glad to know that if I ever did find myself in a fight with a real-life owl man that was anatomically consistent with the known birds of science, yep. I would have a chance. 
Punch your bo- bones bones to pieces. Bones to pieces. Take that, owl man. So long as I could avoid its wing swipes. Yep. And therefore my own bones being broken out of shock. The owl man. Hang on. This is where we've got to address some misconceptions about the owl man. For those who have not seen the owl man YouTube stunts and or Lord of Tears, the seminal hit film, um, the owl man does not have wings. He Wing. has Passing claws, actually. Yeah. Yes, long claw hands. So he's more man than owl. He's a- yeah, that he's he doesn't have wing arms. He has the other one, man hand arms. wings. <laughs> man arms. Yeah, yeah. So you've got to take that into account that you cannot break the wi- you cannot smash his measly bird wing bones to pieces because he simply has claws. So, so owl, think about that. Owl man can't fly then, is that? No, he can't fly, but he can teleport in the film. He can teleport. In the film, oh, he you can. don't need to fly then, do you? No. Well, he's a demon again. He's a demon. Can do what he wants. Crunchy Peanut has pointed out that it is hard to sneak up on an owl man because of the 360 degree head spin. Actually, that's a common misconception. Owls yeah. cannot turn their heads 360 degrees. Oh, I like this. It's Some facts coming out. I'm sorry, it's actually like 270. It can't go the whole way around. Aha. So there, Crunchy Peanut. Yeah. What have you got to say now? If yeah. you can approach the owl within the bracket of 90 degrees where it can't turn its head. You could sneak up on it. Oh my god, something big's making something a noise. Something big well. is here and it's close. Something big's making a noise and I haven't saved in a while. What's this? Ah! Ah! Oh my ah! god, what is it? Oh my god, what is it? Oh, oh get away. It's horrible it's sticky a huge mouth. squid oh, of that, some kind. That was... Get away from it. Oh, it's a shark. With a sucky it's mouth. It's like a shark squid. Oh, that really was a genuine scream. It is a shark. I need that, I need that, I need that. I need that. that You're going I in need again. That. I need that. I need that. You Get can't, off. Ash. It's going to kill you. I need, I need, gonna the, kill I need you. the air. I need it. I need this. I need to breathe. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. okay. That's a tiny bit of oh oxygen now. We're, we're stuck down we're here. We're going now. down. We're just, we're getting away we're from the nasty suck mouth. We're dead. We are dead. 30 seconds of oxygen. I know. 30 seconds. Know. What are you going to do, Ash? I'm going to take out this gel sack. Are we just going to wait down here till we die? I think we're going to have to just die. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna fight. Oh. What happens is you just lose some items and go back to your pod. Okay. Oh, there's another. Go, please. The oxygen. Everything's getting dark. I can see it. Where do I? I'd like to dead. consume. Oh, oh wait, go, go, Ash! Just go, just swim up. Oh swim my up, God. And See if we can make it. The nasty monsters got ah, me. Ah no! <gasps> go away, shark squid. Oh that gosh. Killed. That was a really nasty death. That was better dying to that though than just. Yeah. Going out like a sucker. Uh, we did go out that. like a sucker because it literally sucked us to death, like it with did. that horrible jelly mouth. It did do that. I can just see in the chat, my ears! So I'm sorry for the sorry, shouting. Sorry, yeah. Very so you can, can am, yeah. Then. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. All right, okay, what have we lost? Is it all our goodies? All of our goodies. My arm's broken. <sighs> yeah, that was a lot of shock. <laughs> Oh, that was a really loud laugh, sorry. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. I enjoyed that joke a lot. Right, this is what happens when you talk about Owlman. Whilst underwater. <laughs> Creature of the land. We're talking about creatures of the sea here. So, right, that was the trench. That was a nasty shark suck boy. Um, right, let's get back on the horse. Let's get back on the horse. I think let's go explore. What's that? <gasps> a dropped. Be- oh, that's our beacon. What kind of question is that, Org Jelmy? Would you change your nose if you could? To what? Like a beak? <laughs> it's just the shape of it, I'm assuming. Oh, I, well, if I could choose any no. animal's nose, which is how I'm going to take this question, this question. <laughs> it'd be a, uh, a star nosed mole. Oh my god, yes! Yeah. The star nosed mole. Yeah, I'd be a star nosed ash. That is amazing. What nose would you pick? Oh, hmm. Um. <laughs> I'm just laughing. Just would you change the shape of your nose if you could? <laughs> I'm trying to think. The real question. What nose would I? I mean. Warning. Passing 100 meters. We're going back down yeah. in the Oxygen trench. Does an elephant's decrease. trunk count as its nose? Yeah, yeah. There's nostrils. If it's got nostrils. <laughs> Is that the rule? Yep. Yeah, I go for an elephant then. Because then you, it's like you've got an extra... I could pick things up with my nose. How handy would that be if you yep. came back from the shops and you're trying to juggle all the bags? Oh, yeah. Pros and cons, though. You can hold you can hold your takeaway with your nose and use your, <laughs> you, you can get your keys out easily with your hands. Pros and cons, though. With elephant nose, you have to be prepared to sniff every peanut that ever 
is ever out. I thought he was going to say someone else there. No, you've got peanut. You got peanut senses. Peanut senses. Yeah, because elephants like love peanuts, don't they? When you, you feed them a peanut. Is that true? I swear, it's elephants love peanuts. Ah. Like a circus elephant. Oh, that's thing. Not like again. A noise again. Not again. Is it that? Is it that shark? I can't. What's this? What's this weird? I'm breathing. I'm breathing big and loud. What's that green? What are these green flashing things? Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's follow the path. I'm bre I'm bre she's breathing very distressedly. And you know what? I don't blame her. Go on, Robin. We've had some oxygen flowers. Another yes, one. another one. Thank you. Very well placed, these oxygen flowers. They've really thought about it. Mm. And we've got our ultimate... Ot what? <gasps> what? Swim in there. You've got to. Oh, alien technology. Let me just put myself inside it. Yeah. <gasps> We're inside. Hello? Is someone there? Hello? <gasps> We're running out of time. Who's here? Don't leave it there. Is that what you're going to say? Please, running out of time? Please like, tell me more. Have you got years left or what? Minutes? Is this... <gasps> not... What? Oh my god. Ah, there's a robot crab. I'm going to stab it. Also, you're outside... You're outside, Ash. You're like walking underwater now. Take that, you crab. Right, okay. Got that out of my system. Yeah, it's land time. But we're in the water. Yeah, what's going on? What is all this? Yes, Robin, what is it? I can help you better if you show yourself. No. You think with all their technology. Is you cool, mean you it? don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. Oh my god. You, the yeah. human. <laughs> don't store knives in us. Can you help? Yeah, come on. Come Can on you in. Use my PDA for storage? No. You were not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components bear their signal. Altera? <laughs> no, my equipment is uh, borrowed. It will have to do. Are you coming in the PDA? Come on! I thought they were going to possess you, the yeah. person, then. I would have invited them in. They sound friendly. <laughs> What's this? Iron Cube? Oh! Minecraft, baby! So sci-fi. It Love is it. so sci-fi. It's so s angular and green. Look at this crab! I want to stab that Stop one as well. Stop stabbing things! Not everything has to be stabbed. Leave it. <laughs> Poor robot crab. Ooh. That's a scary cube. How long have you been stored here? Jonathan Cosman says, don't listen to the underwater abyss demon. <laughs> <laughs> Owl man of the sea! Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is complete. Deal. Yes, okay. Domino says, stab everything. Yes. Gameplay. Tactic. Oh. PDA time. Dust it off. Storage medium. Brace from transfer. Brace? Oh, it is us. What's happening? Oliver, <gasps> Oliver Bath is... What is going on? into your PDA. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Groan of pain. <laughs> Put that in the subtitles there. Oh, no. Where are we? Who are we? Moan. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? <gasps> because I am. Uh, identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA. Get out. Oh, no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? You fool. <laughs> because we don't. <laughs> you sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Okay, thank you. Don't moment you go over. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, trophy. Oh, trophy. Gold trophy. Trophy popper. Pop, pop. This is not happening. Oh, I wonder what this will do. That's the explanation. It's not happening. Come on, we've got robot powers now. Show me that shark again. Yes. I'm going to set this nasty head demon on it. Oliver Bath, sorry, was pointing out 
he brought out that classic statistic, which I've always found very confusing, that is, we know more about space than we do about our own oceans. Yeah, man. And I always think, like, that's... I've never understood it, because, like, how, how do you know how much you don't know? Well, the ocean floor has been mapped, but only to, like, an accuracy of about three miles at best. So, like, as in, they don't actually know if it's right, and it's all based on predictions and, and stuff that they can kind of guess. Um, so it's still very unknown. And, like, obviously the sea moves so much, and there's so much of it compared to land. I'm talking about the sea and but just it's more space. getting lost. <laughs> there's more space in space. Yeah, I think it means... That we haven't mapped, Yeah, surely. yeah. Well, maybe, maybe the assumption is that it's emptier because it's just space, but what is just space... It's full of dark matter. I don't know. It's scary. I love dark matter. I love. <laughs> I love I <laughs> my <love>. favorite thing <laughs> is dark matter. Yeah, my favorite thing. Yeah, Final Fantasy, um, chips, dark matter. Oh <laughs> yeah, I accidentally went to a lecture on dark matter once. Oh, that sounds amazing. It, it was it was at midnight, so it was very <gasps> d- it was very dark, and it was um, right. I'm gonna tell the story from here it went, because I don't want to go in the sea and then drown because I'm talking about dark matter okay. but we went to Electron Dark Matter because we went to go to this midnight showing of um, like a what are those places called we look at the stars like astronomy astrological star looker telescope house yeah <laughs> you know what I observatory. mean observatory thank you that's it an observatory um, so we went to the uh, observatory to go to look at the stars but it was such a cloudy night that the stars weren't there so they gave us a lecture instead and the lecture was on dark matter so I got, got to this place at midnight and had a two hour lecture on dark matter instead of looking at any of the beautiful stars that does sound amazing well I, I, I would have preferred been... looking at stars yeah. through a big telescope, yeah. It was disappointing in the sense of I'd have really liked to have seen the, the stars since we it was like a special trip that we'd gone to do this oh, observatory stuff. Classic though, isn't it? It's like going whale watching. Yeah. You, you're not guaranteed, can't, go, can't be guaranteed whales. Oh, it, but the trip was nice. The observatory was lovely. It was Kielder Observatory. Um, and the, the lecture was really, really interesting and good. And the people that run it were really passionate and fun and lovely. Um, I can't I, I, I hype it up enough. But it was midnight and I was tired. And I wanted to look at some stars. So. <laughs> I like that. I love stargazing. Uh, I know it's a very sort of nerdy hobby. Yeah, but, but a fun um, one. I have a telescope that my wife bought me as a birthday present a few years ago it's not like you know an observatory one but <laughs> yeah. it, it's cool um, that's nice have you found any fun constellations that you like to look at I well I like looking specifically at I use the constellations to point me towards fun things to look at yeah. so um, there is the Orion Nebula just oh, below yeah. Orion's belt which looks amazing in a telescope um, then there is the Andromeda Galaxy, which <gasps> you Mass can, Effect? Yes. <laughs> which you can find, um, and I've forgotten what the constellation's called now, that's how long it's been since I've been, since I've actually done it. But it's a constellation that's shaped like a little W, yeah. and the, one of the arms of the W points towards where the Andromeda Galaxy is. Cassiopeia, sorry, the W oh, yeah. is called um, Cassiopeia. I've heard of that one. I'm, d- I'm like, I don't know lots about the stars, I just know rough names. And also the zodiac signs, because we love astrology in this house. Not in my house. Just <laughs> silence. <laughs> What's this? Tentacle? No, I just want... Remaining. Let me get the oxygen. Oh, no. Please let go. What is this let anyway? Me go. Oh my god, it's dragging you away. Let me oh, oh my god, oh. you've been actually eaten. Oh my gosh, please. What oh. is it? Where's it, was, it gone? It's a spiky trap. Where's was the... It a pl- is it a plant? It's that thing. It's that. Oh my gosh, right. Wow. Oxygen plant. Time. Drink. There we go. Someone just asked if I have much light pollution. The answer is no. That's one of the major benefits about living in a in a nice field in the middle of nowhere. So I have very dark skies and we're dead. <laughs> uh, there we go. Well, we do have a friend in our head now, though. We've lost our goodies, but... Does the friend stay? I would assume we don't have to do that bit again. I would assume... I'm sorry if you just heard me drinking water. <laughs> I just heard a little oh, I'm trickle furious. sound. I am furious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to move the mic away while I'll have a sip of water. No, I'm joking. I'm going to have a drink. My God, my God, the voice in our head's calling us. Hello. Is it? Message recorded to log. Oh, I'm going to hold this up to the mic. My name is Al-Am. I belong to the people your kind calls architects. Al-Am. <laughs> <laughs> 
name is Al- Alan. Alan. <laughs> Alan. Your name's Alan, mate. Perhaps you would prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Okay. Oh, shut up, Alan, you pretentious. Wow. AI. I'm, I'm vibing with that. I'm vibing with that, Alan. I will do. <laughs> Right, sorry that I was like balancing my mic on the uh, the dual sense then. Um, right, so he wants us to build him a house. Okay, well, it seems you're in my brain. I think it's a deal. Iron cubes. Yeah. What's the time? I can't see with my poor eyesight. There's the big clock. There. Oh, the big clock. Oh, good. Okay, so we've I got. I gift about, you the big clock. We've got about fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. I don't think we're going to end up building a house for Alan in that fifteen minutes. So shall we see? Do we want to go deep or do we want to go far out? We're both. Far out and then deep. Rosie's in the chat. Hello, Whoa. Rosie. Rosie. How are Rosie. you? Rosie. Oh, look at all. Oh, he has given us some lovely recipes though. Right. Okay. It's time. We've got a knife. We've got a torch. We've got a voice in our head. Alan. 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 Alan to you and me. Al to his mates. Um, right, so we can try and pick up that drop beacon at the bottom. Look at that big round bit of ice there above the water, at... like oh. a big ice cliff. Do you have a look at it? There it is. Looks, looks like a, a monster frozen in time. It does a bit. What if it is? If it is. Called it. Oh, it's... Smaller than it looked, and if closer, also <gasps> than it looked. Oh, <laughs> it's a big tendril <laughs> plant. Oh, creep vine, creeping. That honestly, that upsets me more than anything. When you're in the sea and you can oh, I know. see it's horrible, the it? seaweed, like just, and you know that it's super deep and it's coming up and it's all floating. You know, it wants to. Uh, I just can't stand uh, when you first get in the water at a beach and you have to get past the uh, often the the seaweedy bit first yeah. before you can swim a bit right. yeah British Hate beaches it. are the worst of having the oh, seaweed weed barrier because then you don't know if there's more seaweed like if it's worth going out yeah. further good grief right let's go and see if we can pick up this drop beacon if I die again we'll go edge of the map time I think and see what happens if we go as far out as we can warning passing 100 meters all terror beacon signature detected unique identifier oh. Professor Penguin is here apparently I have not seen Delta Professor Station. Penguin. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Wait, that's another one? There's Del- Oh, should we go to Delta Station or the bottom one? This is just my beacon I dropped. What do you say, Rob? Bottom one. Bottom one? Okay. Bottom one. Let's have some oxygen. Sup, sup on that little plant. What's this? Hello, what are you? Warning, passing 200 meters. Hmm. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But it's necessary. Let's see if we can find something nasty. Hello. Lucy Sophie, don't you come in here with your with your Australian beaches. Alright? Oh no. go away. Get lost. Go surfing or something, wherever you yeah, like to do. Yeah, go and enjoy to... your beautiful, <laughs> beautiful beaches. They are gorgeous. I've never been to Australia. God. I was there for There's a squid shark! Oh, it's guarding my beacon! Shut up. It's Shut coming. up. It's coming. Shut up, you it's nasty shark. It's coming. And I got my beacon! I got my beacon! And you've been attacked by... No! Oh, there's the plant! It's it's all and it's me. the shark! Let me go! I kick you with my leg! Oh my gosh, right. I'm gonna pick up this, whatever it is. Professor Penguin can confirm <laughs> that Professor Penguin is in the chat. <laughs> pro... Pro... P. Prof P. Ryan I'm trying to Claire. give him a cool nickname. <laughs> Ryan Clare says, I refuse to enter the toilet of all sea creatures. Yeah, you know what? It's also That's your totally toilet fair. when you're in it, isn't it? That's oh, the rule. Rob. That's the rule. Oh, my remaining. God. Are you, wait, hold also, on. Number ones or number twos? Well. Both? Well, n number ones when oh, you're like, Rob, in it. Oh, Rob, you just... Yeah, and you, but... Whoa. All number twos are also in there. Warning. At some wow. point, wow. aren't they? Okay. Because when you flush them down, they all Rob number twos through. in the ocean. Everyone's number twos in the ocean. Rob number twos in the ocean. That's you heard it here. You know, the have you ever seen um? They make a horrible noise. Hey, Shut up. Have you ever seen Kevin and Perry go last? They have. <laughs> All I want to do is. There's dance. also that. Do you remember the horrible scene? Uh, the you scene, know what? No, I just remember the song. There's a scene in Kevin and Perry go large with. It has the C in it, and it has a number two in it as well. Oh no. 
I don't remember. I don't remember. That's bad. It's really bad. You're going to have to describe it for the whole no, stream no, channel because I can't not, remember. No. I, think, <laughs> I think Perry is like, you know. Oxygen. I need the loot. And Kevin's like, well, just go in the sea. It's fine. You. And, uh, one. Yeah. Perry, Perry needs a number two. Oxygen. I won't say any more about it, but it gets what it is. <laughs> that feels serious. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh my gosh, we're doing well for finding oxygen plants, oxygen I will say that much. Hey, that educate me then, JLH, where does it go? Where does it go? Obviously I'm wrong. Of course I am. Well, and someone in the chat knows. It's because you've been doing so many number twos in the ocean. No, just tell, That's I've why not it's been doing two. them directly in the ocean. <laughs> you just go to the ocean. It's time. One. No. <laughs> Where do they go? Come on, JLH. It sounds like you know. You know something, and I want to be educated. I'd like to know where the, where the number two's going. Yeah, where do they go? If not the ocean, eventually. I hope they don't go to the ocean. But I know the sea creatures number two. Where else would the they go? Well, maybe. They gotta go somewhere. The sewer. Yeah, but, but, but hooking up the sewer to the ocean feels like a bad plan. But then all water is the well, ocean. Where else does it? The, it can't all stay in the sewer forever. Like the sewer's got to go somewhere. Yeah. Uh, maybe a, like a sewer plant, sewerage plant. Yeah. And then it gets filtered and put back in the ocean after being filtered. Oh, Coughing Cat says the poo is treated first. Uh, <laughs> it's only treated poo. Call goes it. Goes call it. <laughs> Great. Fertilizer. <gasps> Look at this big ship. Oh, oh piece of God, ice. Oh, my God, yeah. Maybe who? <laughs> Iceberg, get ahead. Ah! There we go. We've got some above land beacon. Uh, beacon. <laughs> Crunch of peanuts says bad poops go to poo hell. Poo heaven. That's really, that's, and poo hell. That's really made me laugh. I'm sorry. It shouldn't, but it did. Oh, we can name it a different name. Um. <laughs> I'm going to leave it as Delta Station. Yeah, oh well, yeah. I ain't got time for that. No. This is a recorded message. Oh, I like her voice. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. No. I'm here. Got me friend, friend Alan. I like these big... I love these plants. Look how beautiful. I mean, they are strange, aren't they? It strange. looks like it would burn you. Yeah. Let's scan it, it sounds like... Sizzle. It sounds like a neon lamp. Let's have a look at this. A thermal lily. The thermal lily is an unusual terrestrial plant typically found on cliff walls. During the day, it points its face towards the sun, absorbing thermal radiation and storing it internally. At night, the thermal lily's petals close to reduce heat loss, and it relies on its heat stores to survive the harsh Arctic conditions. Feels like David Attenborough would say that as well, doesn't it? Oh, this is your chance to do the David Attenborough impression. Okay. But we have agreed that it could be... He's, oh, it's he's disrespectful, isn't it? Yeah. It's disrespectful. We don't, to do, we don't do impression and, of him. Um, also, you know. Also, drag race spoilers. <laughs> 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 What's, the sky's looking very aggressive. This. I'm getting a bit afraid of the plants now. Yeah, it's like. These you know, are looking. They start off charming, and now they're all looking at you. Like, yeah. Mm, what are you doing? They look like going to sizzle me. It's our cave. The happening slash the oh, ruins. It's very beautiful out here. Oh, oh my God! Why? Right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. <gasps> then your position oh, is a person in there. precarious. Hello. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait. Who are you? That's an unidentified Stay woman. My land. What about your water? What about it? My water? Oh, I got sorry. That was I. The woman in the that, has <laughs> that was dense of me. <laughs> wow, I want one of those. Oh, here comes Alan again. All right, Alan, how you doing? I'm among the last of a dying civilization. If you were to compromise your well-being, the species could go extinct. Wow, okay. What makes you think she's hostile anyway? A little grumpy, maybe, but who wouldn't be stranded out here alone? She did not respond to my distress call, and she is well armed. Maybe she's afraid of us. 
have many desire to find out. What's in here? Signal location uploaded to PDA. You know how all um, protagonists have the protagonist's voice? Yeah. I am the video game protagonist. Yeah. All AIs <laughs> also in the AI have the same voice as well. Yeah, they do. I am an AI from a video game. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you like this with a little croak in my voice as well. My name is Al Ann. <laughs> it is. And um, it's it's sat now voice, isn't it? Sat now voice. Turn left Turn now. Turn left right now. And also, go ahead. You are going to die now. <laughs> There's I something have... sinister about it, though, isn't there, when yeah. they turn on you? I'm afraid I can't do that, <laughs> Dave. <laughs> oh, what's a... Oh, th no, that's really far away. But it's... I want to go... Uh, but we need... We've got five minutes, we need supplies. <laughs> right. Time to make a call. Is it going to the ocean? It's ocean time. And see how far we can get... Oh, my God, oh, no! no! Oh, 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 God! Ow. I hit a few rocks on the way down. <laughs> that was... Whoops. <laughs> Good jump. That would be me doing cliff diving, like in real life. I just can't imagine doing it at all. I, that That's all I imagine, thinking. Oh, yeah. I, I've seen people doing it in real life, and I it just... Oh. Detecting stone of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Oh, this makes me uncomfortable. Stuff like that. Mm. I don't like it. M. Psylock says game AIs always have a British accent, and it's true, isn't it? Yeah, we're always you bad guys. You having an American accent on it, a gaming AI. It's like it's it's about the bad guy trope, in it. Where you're like, ah. that's the noise. I like these geezers, Morning. guys. Is it geezers or guys? Oh, we've had the Oxygen. debate about this <laughs> when we were doing the Red Dead. <gasps> I think it's geezer. Wow! Look at that. That is a beauty. I hope it eats us. No, I think it's... I think it's... Can we live in it? Benevolent. No, it's turning around, Rob. No, it's fine. It's got horns. It's just a big alien whale. It's got horns. I'm it's going it. to be fine. For sure, it's going to be fine. Should I stab it? No! No. Just a little. Look at on that. the tail. It's making the noise. I think there's more. There's another one. There's something else. Oh, it's the. Is it a shark? It's Squid. the sucky shark. Get away from me! I'm gonna go get some air. Let's swim across the surface and just go straight down. I think that's gonna be my new tactic. Oh Warning. my god, we're really deep. Seconds of oxygen remaining. It's amazing how deep you can get without. There's another. There's another shark. Shark thing there. Oh, leave me alone, please. Control yourselves. Biters. This? Oh, that's horrible as well. That looks really horrible, man made nonsense. Oxygen. <gasps> oh, look how beautiful the rain is in the water. Hold on. Let me get the right position. Look. It's just nice, isn't it? That it's coming underwater. Come on, Mr. Water Graphics. Sorry, I was looking at the chat again. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Someone mentioned that GLaDOS is American. And I was trying to imagine her voice in my head. Because I, I don't remember her having an American accent, GLaDOS. Is that true? Does she have an American accent? Oh, it's... Oh, I don't know. Is my answer. I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm trying to I'm picture save. her voice. I'm trying to hear her voice. She's like, uh, the cake's a lie. <laughs> but more unfeeling an AI like than that. Let's just save the game up here. And then we go down. Even though you tried to kill me. I think she's got a British accent, Gladys, hasn't she? I genuinely can't remember is the unfortunate part of this. I just know she's a robot and she's bad. Nah, she good. Oh, she's uh, good. Deadly Nation 545 says Edie's not British, but she's also not a bad guy. But she's not a bad yeah, AI. Yeah, and Edie's not an AI, really. Edie's very much, you know, transcends that whole yep. e AI thing. EI. Th by becoming a character, like a, a party member. I think she, um... I think she says... When she's... It says, I think she's introduced some aspect too. I think she says it, that she's not an AI, she's something else. And specifies. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay. Right, we've got them. We've got to do... What, what's the goal, Ash? We've got maybe two or three minutes before the stream wow. ends. Wow, I'm trying to get deep. I'm trying to... Oh, my God, look how beautiful this is. It's very beautiful, isn't it? This is less scary. When it looks like trees, it's less scary. I don't know why, but that's the truth. I don't... We don't have a lot of air to do this one, as dramatically as the first one. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. 
you hit the nail on the head. I think we might have to go to the surface and go as far across as we can, and that's going to be the one we have to do, because going oxygen. deep is causing me oxygen issues. We're going to die now, and that's okay. I'm prepared. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Right, and then we uh, let's go. Let's go sideways. Okay. Let's go sideways. And this is the last thing. This is the very last thing. Okay. I'm gonna have a quick sip of water. People are now talking about Alexa. Sorry, <laughs> if I've just activated anyone's Alexa. Um, <laughs> do Alexas in America have a British accent? Is that true? Do they? Oh. Surely not. Right, let's go. Exit base. We're going up, and we're going out. I, can't, I, can't, I was going to look at a map then, but maps don't exist. Hello, the cute penguins. Bye, penguins. Bye. Right, we're just swimming. We're just swimming. Here we we might hit an ice bank, and if we hit an ice bank, then we go deep. deep. Oh, it's a scary yeah. plant there. Yeah. Sickening. Yeah. Oh, these water graphics are so good, aren't they? There's more coral formations underneath you now. Nasty things. Something just jumping out of the water there. Just Coming a little fish. Time. Whoa. Nope. Ooh, it's very peaceful, isn't it? Both gone quiet. Roxas says that you did activate <laughs> their Alexa. You did, Rob. You froze my Fire we TV. It. We did it a lot during the um, the Hitman Three stream because there's a one of your um, targets in one of the missions is Alexa Carlisle. Oh, okay. <laughs> we were just Alexa this, Alexa that, da 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 da. Alexa. In America, you can give Alexa a Samuel Samuel L. Jackson's voice. Doesn't he need that? That was a good joke. That was a good joke. That's so good. I just let it hang yeah, in there. That, that's how good it was. Can you not? Can you? That sounds like something you should be able to do wherever you are. The Samuel L. Jackson's <laughs> yeah. voice should not be exclusive to America. Yeah, I would like that. Oh, more creatures. Hello. It's raining now. Oh, it's hailing. Snow dogs. Hail. Seals, as they're oh, also known. This big chunk of land. Wow. I don't know how big this, this map could be. Much bigger than the other one, so we may have to abandon this mission at some point. <laughs> Tom Buchanan has just reminded me. <laughs> Rob made everyone add a TV to their shopping basket. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. I said the words. <laughs> I said. I said the words. Alexa. <laughs> and then straight away, I said. Add, add 4K TV to I like the respectful gap between words yeah. so it didn't happen again then. Yeah. I, I, I hear that and I respect it, Rob. It's kind of you. It's getting cold and it's getting... Yeah, have a little it's look? very cold. Ugh. Oh, what's that? That's horrid. Let's have a little look down here. What's that? Scary. Oh, it's scary, isn't it? When you look deep down and you can't really Ooh. see anything but... These shapes start coming into view. There's a bit of a noise. A little yeah. can hear it. A bit of. Let's see no. how far we can go across the map. We're swimming and we're saying hell no when we look at the water. How far away are we from from everything? Ah. Uh, just says naught meters, doesn't it? Oh, bit a thousand meters away from oh, our lovely a pod. A kilometre. That seems like a good amount of distance for scary stuff. Oh! I said. <gasps> what was that? That was our own What hand. was that? Oh my god, I'm genuinely really jumping. Look at the way the hail is like... Is that the hail almost falling into the water? You yeah, that's what I was, sh I was showing you that earlier. I was going, look how amazing this is. And you were on the chat reading I was zone. You were like, ignoring. in it. Yeah, just ignoring you, yeah. No, no, it was, it's... The reading's good. But the hail in the water is good also. Ooh. I mean, everything's it's just gone. It's, it's scary now. This is when it's I'm scary. afraid. I feel afraid. Don't look down. Oh my god, that's when it's scary. Well, you just look down and there's just it's just blue. The no <laughs> the noise. I'm, I'm afraid. I don't want to do it. Is that you? Oh my god, it was <laughs> Rob. <laughs> I had fear. 
the noises are horrid. Oh, I don't like what if it. it's a land thing? What if something comes out the sky and swoops Just get under water. Oh my god, I've got like goose flesh from it's so doing this. Eerie, isn't it? I really hate it. I don't know why I decided. Why did I think this would be a good idea? Could come from anywhere. How far away are we now? One point five kilometers. It's too quiet and too empty. Wait, why? You, last time. Entering ecological dead zone. Oh, okay, maybe the we just freeze. For survival is fast approaching zero. I'd actually prefer that than a big monster. No. Ecological dead zone. That means there's no beast. <laughs> oh, oh, there's oh, something oh, there. Oh, oh, what oh is it? God. What oh is it? God. Something's here. Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 that's not an ecological dead zone. It's, it's the thing. The big. Oh. The big boy. My. Here it comes. Good. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, we are dead. You died. You are dead. G that Game really over. gave me fear. And that is the end. <laughs> <laughs> that is the oh. end. That is the oh. end. Well, what a stream it's been. We've had um, talk of films, of shark movies, yeah, yeah. of... Um, Oh, I've forgotten everything we've talked about. Ah, it's all stream. gone. It's all gone. But it was uh, great Drag fun. Race. Drag Race. We've got Drag Race. Spoilers for Drag Race. Yeah. yeah. Owlman a lot. There's a lot of Owlman. Owlman, yes. Owlman. A lot of Owlman. Um, so thank you very much, Domino and Oliver Bath. Thank our you. wonderful mods, as always. And thank you very much, everyone who has chimed in with facts about where poo goes before <laughs> it goes to the ocean. <laughs> And the facts about what would happen if you punched a bird. Yep. And just for hanging out with us in the chat. And the ice puns as well at yeah. the beginning of the stream. Oh my god, they were great. Some it's great, been fantastic. Some great ice I've puns. had a really lovely time. Thanks it's for been... having me, Rob. <sighs> <laughs> no, but genuinely, it's been very fun. It's thank you, everyone. Great. And yes, yeah, so thank you for joining us, everyone. Um, and we'll be back on Thursday with another stream. Yep. And throughout the week with with more videos. Um, so stick around. We'll see you soon. We will. Bye-bye. Bye. My voice. Bye. <laughs>